सो हाय ऑल वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल अगेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूली लॉन्च्ड एप्लीकेशन द मीटिंग रूम्स इन ओडू वर्जन 17 सो लेट्स सी व्हाट आर द न्यू फीचर्स ऑफ दैट एंड व्हाट इज दिस एप्लीकेशन सो इन ओडू वर्जन 17 वी हैव अ न्यू एप्लीकेशन नेम्स नेम्ड रूम्स इट इज एज इजी टू यूज एज एज इट लुक्स इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन समटाइम बिकम्स हैक्टिक टू मैनेज द मीटिंग रूम्स एज साइमल्टेनियसली एम्प्लॉज कैन हैव मीटिंग्स विद क्लाइंट्स एंड समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स दैट क्लाइंट्स सडनली केम टू द ऑफिस फॉर एनी मीटिंग एंड एट द एंड वी डू नॉट हैव एनी मीटिंग रूम्स अवेलेबल सो टू मैनेज दिस थिंग्स द मीटिंग रूम एप्लीकेशन कैन बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू द कंपनीज so let's see an overview of the meeting room application and what are the new features of that so let's dive into the database first so we are on the uh, odoo 17 database so here the uh, here is the application meeting room this is how it looks so let's dive into the application here we can see bookings related the rooms so these are from by clicking on new we can create any uh, booking so let's say we uh, i am having a meeting with client right now so we can mention a name with the client so let's take a uh, example as client meeting we can choose room here so here i am choosing a room we can uh, mention date and time also we can choose time here so from where starting from where to and how much time it will take to end the meeting we can mention here Here is the organizer. Uh, organizer. So organizer is the uh, company who organizes these meetings. We can click on save and close. So you can see at 12 p.m. we have a client meeting. Second is this rooms. So basically we can create a rooms that we are having in our company. so let's say uh, we create a room named sunshine here under that we can uh, create office so for example uh, if any company have multiple offices he can define here or i can simply create it from here itself so for example in my company i am having three offices so i can just create it or if i am having already we can just select it this short code and room booking url will be auto filled up here we have a sub menu called appearances so basically we can choose color for available background color and color for booked background color so whenever a uh, we uh, by clicking on this color we can choose any color of that so let's choose this sky blue and booked color background so this is pink we can also define background image for this room then we have a sub menu called amenities so we can define amenities that we are having in this room for example projector screen speakers or anything that we have in our room so this is how we can define so here we have a new tab called booking so from directly clicking on this we just we will have calendar view and we can create new event or new no new booking so we can directly uh, do the booking from here itself 
then we have option named open so directly we can when we click on open we will have a tablet view of this rooms you can see we can have a time date and all room name what are the amenities in that and currently we are not having any bookings in this room so this is a free room that's why it will show no booking plan this room is as free as fish in the sea of endless possibilities so directly from this tablet view one can just click on book now or schedule booking for example uh, let's uh, do a meeting right now let's schedule it so i am uh, scheduling a meeting as team meeting and taking as 15 minutes so you can see for the booked we have a color uh, pink color right now because we have uh, mentioned in this room for book for booked room it will show pink color and for available it will show sky blue so this is how in case in case of any emergency emergency or something to cancel this meeting or anything user can just click on this delete so he can just directly delete booking from there itself and room will be available to book we can by cl clicking on schedule now we can schedule booking by choosing uh, any time slot for example let's choose i'm having a meeting on 8 pm review meeting so, so this is how we can choose the slots So this is how we can plan it and everything. And whenever any uh, meeting is uh, whenever meeting is any meeting is there or any meeting will happen in that particular time duration. system will show the rooms as busy or any meetings to have for that particular timing so let's see let's create one new meeting new booking as a team meeting let's choose a room here i'm choosing a new york from one of my office at belgium room name is new york and the seven close So whenever we see a uh, New York, it will show busy right now because I have scheduled meeting as a right now. Let's create one new booking as review meeting. Room I'm choosing same. New York. Let's just change the time duration of that. So I will have meeting on fourteen, and it will be finished on sixteen. So probably it will take two hours to complete the meeting. Let's just say when close. Here we have open the room. here you can see all the meetings for the day so i have a meet, review meeting in this time also 14 to 16 another meeting another review meeting i have on currently i am having 12 to 13 a team meeting so all these scheduled meeting will be shown here 
to delete one of the meeting just directly click on whenever you finish the meeting you just directly click on delete and room will be available to schedule or book the meeting meeting bookings uh, we can filter it bookings by day weekly monthly and year this is how uh, meetings will look whenever we filter it by week month and year based on multiple offices in filters we can filter it by group by organization room and offices filtered by my meetings we can add multiple custom filters as well we can set uh, multiple filters save as favorites also so in the bookings we have guide view calendar view so this is how on the calendar view meetings scheduled meetings and bookings looks like we can see on particular time duration will have this meeting this is how it looks like in calendar view as well we can filter by day week month or year same we have list view so in list view we can see start date time end date time name room and organizer and then last we have a kanban view so in kanban view we'll have list of all the meetings with related room date duration and organization so this is how meeting rooms look like and it is as use as easy to use it's it seems to be thanks